This is a trigeminal neuralgia case, a uh, full upper denture uh, patient. And Sean is going to be our ortho case. So we're going to visit a couple of perio cases. Talk about a three unit bridge. This is a instructor, former instructor, a retired dentist at a very prestigious postgraduate uh, learning facility. So this is a full mouth reconstruction case. So what does this data and technology tell you? She, or interesting that she bites more on the right side. Again, he does, he starts out with a really good um, clinch, but he can't maintain it. It is where the bite is initiated on these teeth repeatedly over and over, and he's biting more on the left side. Uh, but that is an interesting case where the, the bone, um, uh, bone loss correlates to bite force. And when I have him go to the left, he discludes to the posterior on uh, the interface, really, between uh, 15 and 18. A little bit on the pontic, but um, more so uh, on that posterior abutment. However, in this case, I would be willing to bet that the occlusion itself, repetitive trauma, is what killed the nerve uh, based on how he presented her doctor's visits have decreased 25 to 30 percent. And he said, you know, the whole family is affected and we're all sleeping better because he, his wife, and the daughter are not up at night with her when she's in all sorts of pain. Prior to using TechScan, uh, it was absolutely unheard of for me to get things this good within 20 minutes. Uh, usually, um, uh, case finishing took a lot more time than that. My hope is that this will show that there's more data about the bite that can be made available to you as a clinician. I think most of us kind of work out on our own what our truths are about what occlusion is and is not.